My name is Anne McCluskey. I'm a doctor. I live and work in Derry in the north of Ireland. I qualified uh, at University College Dublin in the early 80s and I worked in hospital medicine initially uh, in, in paediatrics and then moved to community paediatrics and spent most of my professional career as a GP in my hometown of Derry. So what has happened from early last March has affected everybody, everybody in society. And certainly it's made enormous changes to my life. I uh, was working as a general practitioner and I left there uh, uh, to go into politics. I was elected as a councillor, but I had to resign my post as a councillor because I saw that Derry and Straban District Council were implementing uh, rules, guidelines, laws, implementing policies which were directly harming the people that we were tasked to try and make their lives better. As a doctor, I went back to work uh, because of the supposed emergency. And as a doctor, I saw firsthand not people sick or dying of respiratory viruses, but people pushed to despair, people pushed to conflict within their families, people pushed to drug and alcohol misuse, people pushed to the brink of suicidality because of the government policies, not because of any disease, but because of the way that their lives were being distorted by this narrative. So the thing I want to talk to you about today mainly is, is these PCR tests, polymerase chain reaction tests. Because if we take these polymerase chain reaction tests, these cases, these asymptomatic people, if we take this out of the equation, there's actually very little to see in this pandemic. Yes, people are dying as they do every year of respiratory viruses. Yes, the hospitals are busy as they have been every year for decades. And believe me, I've worked through a lot of it. There is nothing unusual going on. If we take this measurement, which measures not illness, nor the ability to transmit illness to somebody else, but simply it's, it's a biochemical process which seems to me to be used by governments in order to drive a narrative, to drive people into fear, to make people believe that they are the problem, that they are the biohazards, and that they are toxic to their, their fellow human beings. If you take the PCR test out of this equation, the whole house of cards falls down. So where can we go with this? What can we do? I don't know. Uh, we need to communicate with people, try and get the message out there. And most importantly, the power does lie with the people, but through their elected representatives. We have to hold these people accountable and we have to demand that they organize an exit strategy from this insanity, which is depriving people of their most basic human rights and liberties, pushing us apart, destroying us as families, as communities, as societies, and, and is going to have a dreadful effect on our children and our grandchildren's futures unless we can turn this ship around. We need to end the lockups now.